So Russell, you've been treating patients with ticks for 23 years, but something different's happened lately. Yeah. So yeah, for 23 years, I've been looking after kids with ticks. Um, and most of the patients I see are um, usually younger children when they start ticking and more likely to be males than females. And then at the beginning of 2020, um, things seemed to be changing. Uh, I started to see more uh, females and adolescents who were starting to tick for the first time. And although they had ticks, their ticks were a little bit different. How different? Well, usually the, the kind of ticks were of higher amplitude, so the arm movements would be larger movements or sometimes even hitting themselves. What do you put it down to? Well, it seemed that a, a proportion of the young people, maybe half, were saying they'd been seeing, on, usually on TikTok, a few videos of uh, young women and young adolescents with ticks. It's so bizarre. I mean, it's hard to believe that simply watching a TikTok video is suddenly going to spur Tourette's or ticks in someone. Well, we think the same children were watching similar videos, usually on TikTok. Um, and some of these TikTok videos were seen by millions of young people <laughs> in America, in Europe, in Australia. And these children, the children I've been seeing, have started saying similar things to children in the United States and in Europe. And I think the pandemic has been relevant. You know, why did this happen in 2020? And so then it gets onto the story of, you know, stress, uh, the, the factors of stress and the effects they have on young people and how they present with this unusual ticks. So why girls and not boys? I don't think we know in truth. It's possible that boys are expressing stress in a different way. So maybe we're just tuned into this because it's so noticeable, but maybe males are suffering or struggling in a different way. Is it possible to develop something so severe out of nowhere? It's very unusual, and that's why it was so noticeable. You know, it, it was so different to my usual experience of young children with ticks and Tourette, and that's what really stood out. There was something different going on. Is it possible to fake something like Tourette's? Well, it is possible, but that's not what we think is happening. This is what we call a, a functional neurological disorder. And it's a good phrase because it means um, the hardware of the brain is, uh, is there, but the way things are working and the way things are functioning is not right. Are you concerned by what you're saying? I'm very concerned, partly because this has overwhelmed the system. I think this is just one example of the effect of stress and the pandemic on young people. We have generally not prioritised young people in the last two years, and young people and young adults have uh, taken a hit. Their lives have been dramatically changed. Lockdowns, social networks, stress, uncertainty. This has been a massive problem. I, I'm deeply concerned, and this isn't one example of that problem. The other reason I'm concerned is many of the people, even a year or two later, this is still going on. You know, some of the patients uh, have improved completely, but many are continuing to struggle. Hello, I'm Tom Steinford. Thanks for watching 60 Minutes Australia. Subscribe to our channel now for brand new stories and exclusive clips every week. And don't miss out on our Extra Minutes segments and full episodes of 60 Minutes on 9now.com.au as well as the 9now app.